All right. Ten times sea monsters attacked a boat. Giant squid that terrorized a boat to the giant jellyfish that sunk a fishing trawler. Here at a Tenzin's giant jellyfish sunk a fishing trawler? That sounds sick, and I hope it's true. Same time sea monsters attacked a boat. Actually, I don't hope it's true. I don't hope that any people got injured. If the boat went down without anyone got in getting injured or losing any significant costs, then I want it to happen. I am not wishing ill will on people, but a jellyfish sinking a boat does sound sick. But impossible. Oh god, Jellyzilla. In this case, the sea monster came in the form of a great white shark. That's not a great white shark. The shark struck his vessel with such outstanding force that he first thought he had been hit by a sailboat. But the attack didn't stop with a no single head. No way! We just watched a video with this exact animation. I had never seen this animation before. In two videos in a row, we get this shitty toy shark. The sharks were so eager to sink their teeth into the dead whale and so frustrated they couldn't seem to reach it that they took out their anger on Keith's boat instead. That is the worst story I've ever heard. A whale washed up on the shore and so it attracted a bunch of sharks and then the sharks were angry that they couldn't eat the whale so they angrily attacked some guy's boat. This is like... It's not what, how animals or sharks in general, an, like, this is such a projection of human emotions and frustrations. Animals don't project things onto other things. They don't get frustrated with things and then, you know, take it out somewhere else. You're just projecting human emotions onto this. I'm sure I learned a word in, like, 8th grade English that, had, that describes this, but I can't remember it. What's the word? personization or something humanization no not humanization personification yeah this is just personification number nine the ann alexander the ann alexander was a whaling ship wait didn't we see this too didn't the in the black sea video didn't they show this footage in the black sea video <laughs> this is crazy i'm just like re-seeing exact stock footage there's no way this is the ann alexander the first mate managed to harpoon a whale, but after he got the harpoon tethered, the whale turned and opened its jaws and destroyed the boat in a single bite. Oh, yeah. It was lucky that there was a second whaleboat as the captain rowed over and saved the crewmen from the shattered vessel. There were then 12 men stuck in a single boat and quite far from their ship. They managed to evade further attacks by the whale and get back to the Ann Alexander. At which so you stabbed a whale with a harpoon and it turned around and bit your small dinghy little raft. And that is a sea monster attacking a boat. I think you attacked the sea monster. They got a second harpoon into the giant beast's head, but it Jesus. only made it even more upset. Understandably so. The whale charged at the ship, smashing a hole in the hull of the Ann Alexander below the waterline. Within minutes, the boat began flooding. All 22 men aboard had to abandon ship and wait to be rescued while they watched the Ann Alexander sink and the whale swim away. Based whale. Shout out to that whale. If I got shot with a harpoon twice while I was just minding my own business, yeah, how did it get personal? That's very funny. <laughs> now it's personal. I shot this whale that was minding its own business with a harpoon and it retaliated and then swam away. Now it's personal. I have beef with a whale that I shot unprovoked. What? Number eight, giant squid attack. A French yacht was taking part in a round the world sailing competition when they were attacked by a giant squid that in is a the very middle small of the Atlantic squid. Ocean. Oliver sent a crewmate below deck to identify the issue, and that was when he saw something moving. <laughs> he saw he did say this is the only ever confirmed sinking of a ship by a sea monster, and it was number nine on the list of ten times sea monsters attacked a boat. It was also a small raft that just got popped by a sperm whale's tooth that they harpooned. Once the ship stopped moving, the squid let go. What is this? They take an image of a squid and then like... 50% transparency on stock footage of a boat. Oliver and the crew looked behind them. And <laughs> they really got to I give it to them. They get creative. Number seven, kayaker attacked. At 6.30 in the morning, David Alexander took his kayak out to Shelter Cove. Is a kayak a boat? I feel like this is cheating. You can't say a sea monster attacked a boat and then put some dude getting knocked off his kayak. The day was almost over and David was heading back to shore when suddenly he heard a thud and felt his boat lift up. At first he thought he had gotten stuck on a rock, but then he saw the grey flesh of the shark below him. The shark then exploded out of the water and sank its teeth into his kayak, literally ripping the front of the boat to shreds. 
The force of the bite was enough to throw David out of the boat. He landed. <laughs> That's a whale shark. What is this image? In the water and was face to face with the deadly fish. This is a terrible. Oh, this is like someone posts to Instagram as like satire. It was an absolute miracle that the shark didn't eat him. He was literally close enough for the shark to reach out and give him a kiss. And yet the shark let go of the kayak, turned around and disappeared. David got back to land fine, but he would need a new kayak. So how much you want to bet that this is a shark bumped into some dude's kayak and then he came back to shore and he's like, guys, you will not believe it. He ripped my kayak in half and face to face looked at me. Could have kissed me. And he swam away. I still think about him. Death by swordfish. The captain chased down the swordfish, shot a harpoon at it, then left the harpoon line attached to a buoy. Franklin then decided to go back to the main vessel for dinner. About an hour... What? Why are we surprised when things retaliate? You shot a living creature with a harpoon, then strung that harpoon onto a buoy like you would like leash a dog onto a pole, and then went and had dinner on your fancy boat. What the fuck is wrong with you? He was about to lance the swordfish when it suddenly turned, rushed underneath his boat, and thrust its nose up at the bottom of the wooden dory and impaled the captain straight through his body. In the end, the swordfish actually got stuck with its nose piercing the vessel and the captain boat. This is a really funny recreation. I feel like they could have done better than this. I feel like they could have done better than this, but I get it. Number five, sunk by a giant jellyfish. The Namura's jellyfish this is, is one of the most for. daunting creatures of the deep. It's not traditionally scary. like The a daunting or creatures of the deep. Okay, this is like a normal rock sized jellyfish in the shallows. All right but it is an authentic danger that can not only kill a lonely swimmer but also an Dude, entire these animations. ship full of fishermen. Stop putting PNGs on top of moving videos. Please. I beg you. Something like this actually happened in Japan when an enormous... It's so simple to code an image to the main focal point. Like, it would be so easy in any video editor to just attach this to this. So that as the jellyfish moves around the screen, it moves around. And then at least it makes a little bit of sense. Nobody knows why, but an army of these gelatinous giants gathered between the Japanese coastline and the Korean peninsula, and fishermen began accidentally reeling in nets full of them. This is bad news, because the Numerous jellyfish can grow to be over 6 feet or 1.8 metres in diameter. They can also grow to be up to 400 pounds, over 180 kilos. In any case, there were way too many jellyfish in the net. As the crew tried to haul them in, they were tossed into the sea. The immense weight of the jellies... This is, this is clickbait. I want you guys to think, when you think about how the media can, like, reorient stories and turn them and twist them and make things into clickbait that aren't exactly true, this is sea monster attacks a boat. These guys caught too many jellyfish, and so their boat fell over because they caught too many jellyfish. And he worded it as the jellyfish sank a ship. They just had too heavy of a net, and so their ship fell over. This is crazy. Number four, crushed by a whale. A kayaker survived the encounter of a lifetime after a humpback whale bigger than two buses put together did a belly flop on top of his head. The British tourist was <laughs> I a feel like I've seen this. man visiting Monterey Bay in the San Francisco area. I mean, just pure accident. Spot for it's 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 going to happen eventually, right? If you've got people kayaking, watching whales, and the whales are jumping out of the water, eventually a whale's going to land on top of somebody. I mean, you're just going to get unlucky. I'm sorry, but you just lost the one in a million lottery. Amazingly, he didn't suffer any serious injuries. According to the New York Post, the kayaker said himself in a later interview that the beast was so huge it literally blocked out the sun when it leapt out of the water. <laughs> I would imagine if you were sitting in a kayak and you looked up and there was a whale above you, it would probably, probably block out the sun, yeah. He could see water dripping off the grooves of its body and then all of a sudden, blackness. One thing he claimed to remember after that's kind of sick that the if you got no injuries from that and the whale's okay that is the experience of a lifetime imagine having footage of that the whale coming down on you that's so sick the whale smelled absolutely horrifying giving a whole new meaning to the term fish breath number three germany in that attack. four seconds that the whale jumped out of the water and landed on top of him he smelt it and said it smelt bad that's so rude Bro, you were in the whale's territory, and the whale probably felt so bad that he landed on you, and then you just call him a stinker. So far as the tale goes, the UB-3 class submarine was damaged by a sea creature seen by every one of the crew, all of whom described the mysterious thing as looking like a giant mutated crocodile. 
the creature caused so much damage that the submarine was forced to the surface, at which point the <laughs> British forces... What the fuck is that animation? Out. To this day, nobody has been able to put forth a logical theory as to what could possibly have ravaged a German submarine during the war. After taking composite images using sonar scans, there appeared to be no claw or teeth marks from any kind of monster. Number two. So you're number three above a boat that was actually sunk, a, you know, a raft that was actually sunk by a sperm whale. Your number three evidence is something that you just admitted did not even happen. Well, this is crazy. This is, it has to be AI generated because there's no way a human being could look at this, write this and take it seriously. Killer whale attack. The killer whale, also known as an orca whale, smashed into his boat several times before it grabbed hold of his anchor and gave it a tug, yanking Victor's boat around like a toy in a bathtub. The whale then swam at the boat and slapped it with its tail. All signs pointed to a serious attack, and this was even more dangerous because there were three young teens on board. In the end, the entire incident lasted just a couple of minutes. The whale did eventually swim away with the line from the ship's anchor, which it had somehow ripped off during its furious attack. Luckily, nobody was harmed. It seems to day, odd to me that knowing that killer whales have never, you know, killed anybody in the wild or anything, it seems odd and are, you know, usually curious around humans and just chilling. It seems very odd to me that this would be the time, you know, like this would be when orcas choose to attack humans. Orcas are so intelligent. I could almost give them credit. They knew that Jaws had just come out and they were just fucking with people. <laughs> They knew, oh, they're like, oh, yeah, 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 Jaws, that shit just came out. Yo, we got to go and, like, go, oh, yeah, go under that boat. And they go, Ooh. like, I dare you to boop that boat. <laughs> just fuck with a bunch of people. Yeah, they were pranking. They were pranking people after Jaws came out. Has no idea why. Yeah, I bet it was just playing. Orca attacked him. Number one, otter escape. In a shocking turn of events, a clever otter recently escaped certain death in Alaska's Halibut Cove Lagoon after using John Dornella's boat as salvation. How was this a sea monster attacking a boat? An otter jumped on a boat to not get eaten and the, the orcas were like, okay, fair enough. Not only are you disproving your last one by saying that orcas won't attack a boat, but you are also... It's, it's, <laughs> John had been watching the horrifying struggle, not knowing what to do. The orca was clearly teasing the otter, having a bit of fun before it finally got bored and decided to tear it apart. But the otter proved just a little too wily for the sadistic whale. Just at the, the last sadistic. Second, the Stop putting human emotions on whales. Out of the water and climbed onto John's boat. The panicked little critter then sat. The whale is not sadistic; it's hungry. Next to the engine, while John watched the whale splash around, clearly having a temper tantrum because its dinner. Had yeah, clearly having a temper tantrum. Away. John then let the otter hang out on his boat until the coast was clear. The otter didn't say thank you when it left, but it didn't really need to. John was fairly certain the animal was thankful to still be alive. What just an insanely bad video. Just truly and utterly bad. Like, almost impressively bad. Whoa.